than 20 years now, tomorrow's world has been talking about magnetically levitated trains as the future of railways. But it's a future whose time has yet to come. Apart from two experimental flying trains in Japan and a few short, low-speed systems like this one in Birmingham, maglev has remained tomorrow's train. But here in Germany, they've spent 400 million pounds on their maglev test program. And it's now reached the point where the world's fastest train to have carried people could soon be operating commercially at speeds of up to 500 kilometers an hour. But the first thing that any maglev train has to achieve is liftoff. This train runs on special elevated track. And to achieve that liftoff, it has rows of electromagnets slung underneath the train. These are attracted up towards the underside of the track, but without actually touching it. So the whole train is lifted by magnetic attraction. These red electromagnets that draw it up run the whole length of the train. And a computer down here uses sophisticated sensors to continuously adjust the power to the magnets so as to keep the gap between the magnets and the track at exactly 10 millimeters. This means that even at high speeds, the train floats very close to the track, but without ever touching it. Underneath the track, there's a series of cables that run the whole length of the line to make a linear motor. And when electrified, they create a moving magnetic field that interacts with those electromagnets on the train to propel it along. edge here. That means that it can corner very fast indeed, securely held even on steeply banked track. But a problem with solid concrete track is moving it at points. So to get round these, even at very high speeds, they've made special flexible steel sections which bend along their entire length to form a continuous curve. As well as being good at bends, they've found that they can climb much steeper gradients than a conventional train, so they should save on tunnels and embankments. But the track itself, with the linear motor cables all along its length, is expensive. So overall, the system should cost about the same as other forms of high-speed, purpose-built railway. Well, here on this 20-mile test facility in Emsland, near the Dutch border, they've already achieved a world speed record of 412 kilometers per hour. It's possible that the first commercial route will be chosen next year between Hanover and Hamburg, reducing the 100-mile journey time to just 30 minutes. They're also gambling on setting the system to Las Vegas, linking it with Los Angeles. So maybe finally, Maglev will strike it lucky.